Well, other than fixing things for the last two days at the farm, I did take a day off and work on my monstrosity. Maybe we should call it the big yellow super tanker now. Sweet. I'll show you what I did. Well, 25 years ago, I garbage picked myself a couple cans of bright yellow lacquer. That's what they used to paint cars with way back when. So, just added some lacquer thinner, which I always have around the shop for cleaning out paint guns and stuff. And you see, we got a big yellow tanker now. And if you remember, two years ago, Duplicolor sent me 74 cans of paints and stuff sprays for my go-kart to finish the job. Well, the stuff that I didn't use, I still have. And so I pressure washed this thing down and sprayed those rusty fenders with truck bed liner. That spray on bed liner stuff. It looks awesome. Had enough to do the frame. As you can see, that looks like a brand new vehicle. Do my holy shit post. Back fenders. Underneath the seat. Basically, I sprayed all the spots that I welded and all the spots that you can easily see when it's driving by. And last year someone sent me this cool skull and crossbones flag. So I got a hood prop rod, which is kind of springy steel, and attached that on it. As you never know, we may have to give a warning in case we're hauling something toxic in there. Oh yeah, something that's not toxic is I installed a beer cooler, and it actually, the lid opens and everything. It's got its own little frame. So now we can put ice in there, go for long journeys, keep all those eight beer holders completely full. The paint scheme is nowhere near finished. I won't give you any t clues on what's going to happen, but this is just what it looks like after I pulled the tape off when I did the yellow and the black. Got a nice garden variety safety latch here. Remember this handle? It's a modified back door latch, but I had to put a little spring in it so for safety's sake it could never like bounce open by itself. So now it automatically locks. This thing can't lift off anymore. I'll show you why. Well I cut a little slot in that pipe as you can see. Put a pin in and then put a dead stop on it. So easy to get in and out. It can't lift off. It's pretty damn sturdy. And it latches perfectly and doesn't rattle. Well, next seat belts. I did save those from the cars we scrapped. So that won't be a problem. Yep. Even our mascot's got some ear gear going on. Cool. She is so awesome to drive. It's the best driving vehicle on the farm. Other than any brand new car that might pull in. And look at all that catnip. It's two feet tall already and doing awesome. Could have a great harvest, including Catnip Mountain. One more thing. The engine cover hood that's going to split like an old-fashioned car like my Mercedes when it opens is finished. I just haven't installed it yet because it would have gotten away when I was painting it and it would have been one more thing I had to tape out. Oh yeah, and a little dead stop there just so it doesn't drop into first or second gear, it just drops into drive. We don't need to put her in low. Well, at least not yet until I find out how hard it is to get the water out of the pit. Now let's go for a drive. Step on the leaf spring. Then the platform and the little rail I have here so you don't slip off. Lots of space in there for the community. Oh. Because she's a car but no back pressure, I always give her a shot of gas first. sound coming that dual exhaust. We're gonna go for a ride. Someone's busy at work. I miss not seeing those tires anymore. Kinda windy out. Cold front coming in, gonna rain tomorrow. But it's amazing how nice it drives. See, look mom, no hands. 
Put the airbag back in to make it look pretty. Sweet home. Look at all that fun. Nice. Even the Talon's got power steering in it now. We changed that. And there's from whence I came. Cool. Now I just gotta trim all the branches in the forest so we don't have to rip, rip our eyeballs out. We get 10 caterpillars in our face for when we go riding back there. Another fresh donation I forgot to mention. Perfect working, nothing wrong with it. What do you call that thing? Cirrus or Stratus or something? 2.4 loaded? Yep. <laughs> the guy forgot the key. he even owned a Chrysler left in the parking lot so long, threw away the keys. Gee, it was easy as easy to hot wire as the old ones with plastic ignition and this one had metal ignition. Oh well, good thing I don't share my knowledge. <laughs> the world would be a worse place. And for my next project, well, everybody's heard of a basket case. Well, this is literally and truly a basket case. I think all the parts are there, but it's kind of messed up. So messed up that someone actually welded the nut on the flywheel, probably because they lost the key. I'm not even going to bother with trying to mess with all that shit. Because I got this thing that goes with it for 50 bucks. Barely used. Even the tits are still on the tires. It's kind of like Honda Red. It's got lots of space in there, so my next project is put my Honda motor in there. Everybody will think it's a Honda. Then lots more people can ride of all sizes when they come out here because my ATV is pretty scary fast. Well, just wait and see how it turns out. I have no idea. Never sort of did this to a quad before, but I can make anything fit anything, obviously. <laughs> Lots of examples.